All right, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can um, uh, use your inbuilt microphone or one of the microphones we've got here at school to record your voice. All right. Um, so at the moment, I've just um, I've just got two loops thrown together, and if I press play, you can you can hear those. Oh, let me get rid of that. It's not playing from the start. All right. Okay, so I want to add to my music that I've created here. Um, let's go, first of all, we don't need the loops anymore just to make it um, our workspace a bit uh, tidier. Let's just click that button so that all we can see is our timeline and this, um, our instruments over here. Click the plus button and this dialog box will come up here and I want you to choose audio. Now, you may have to change the inputs, which you can do here. At the moment, I'm using my built-in microphone um, and if you have, a plugged in microphone, an external one, it will come up as an option here and you basically just change both of these so that it, it picks up the audio from there. Uh, click create and you can see we've got a new audio track on here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk through a little bit and I'm just going to let it record my voice. So if I press record here, you can see that it counts in and the red over here you can see it's recording what I'm actually saying and depending on how loud and I talk, if I talk louder you can see the sound waves um, that the volume goes up and if I talk really quietly the, you can see that the waves go down. Alright, when you finish recording just press stop and then you can go back, scroll back and click back here to bring your tie back and you All right, when you're voice recording, probably I should have shown you first, but it's a good idea. There's a button here with the headphones on, solo, okay? So I can solo a track. If I press record um, or play or record, I can only hear what's happening on that track. If I solo this track here, unsolo that one, all right, I'm not going to hear any other audio except this loop that I've targeted, okay? If I undo that, everything's playing as well. Right. So if I stop that and I take the playhead all the way back to the start. Now what you can do with your voice is, I'm just gonna solo this track. Um, you can actually add filters to it, like GarageBand comes with a few filters you can add to it. So if I click on voice here, um, let's just play it and listen to it first. It just sounds normal, okay, go back to the start. Um, I might put a fuzz vocal on it because that, you can really hear the difference then. Um, and you can see this, this um, changes to fuzz vocal. So let's listen to see how the voice sounds now. All right, now if I unsolo that and listen to that all together, you can start to see that by adding a few loops and recording voice, you can start to come up with some pretty cool, or, cool sounding audio. So let's have a look to all that together. All right, say I don't want the voice to start at the start, very start, I can just move this along the timeline, all right? We've got a bit of music coming in. The voice starts. And then the other loop comes in like that, okay? Now I'll just show you a little bit about the controls here. I showed you how to solo a track. You could solo two tracks if you wanted to. Um, uh, you can also, for each track, you can adjust the volume, okay, so this button here, if I want that this uh, beat uh, to be played lower, I can just click and hold and drag to the left, and you can see um, the volume changing there in decibels. All right, I can go, if I want it louder, I can scroll, scroll it up to the right, and it can be really loud, just like that. Um, the dB just stands for decibels, that's the unit of measurement that volume um, is measured in. And I think that's about it. Have a go, play around with that and see what you can come up with.